Okay, trying to address some questions. So like I said, once you've made, okay, you lean x equals to u, the remaining thing there becomes dv. Eh? And then find the integral of dv and the derivative of u, okay? Good, and once you do that, you express the u in terms of x. So by doing so, which means that this becomes the u will be equal to one over x, one over x, okay, dx. Mm -hmm. Then take your time and do the substitution. So this becomes your u, which is the lin x here. This becomes your v, which is what? The four x squared minus the integral of this is the v here. And then this becomes your dv, your du, sorry. Let me use a, a proper path. So this becomes your du here. Okay. So v is u is what? Lin x. V is what? 4x squared minus integral of v is 4x squared times 1 over x dx. Okay. Good. And clearly you can see x canceling out one of the x's here. So we'll be left with 4x here. And when you integrate 4x, you get what? 2x squared. Okay. Then bring the constant of integration, which is what? Plus c. Okay. So that is for the second or the third example. Um, Tony still has his hand up. Yes, Tony. Uh, sir, please, uh, in, uh, in case of uh, using uh, uv as a multiplication, uh, we use the lin s direct, but for the, for the u, we have integrated before using. But from the formula, it's indicating that we have to use it direct, like how we use the uh, v also. Okay, I think you are getting the steps now. So as for you, you will not integrate it, you differentiate it. It is the dv that you have to integrate to get your v. Okay, good. Now let's go on to another example. Um, I wish we could just go to substitution, but... Um, so this will be an example I want you to try on your own, okay, at home. Uh, so the integral of x cos x dx. Mm -hmm. So integral of x cos x dx. Try it at your end. I'll send the slides to you. So make sure you try it on your own. So we have another example. This one is on definite integral, but I think we've done something similar. So we can move on. Okay, so you let's just brush through the solution. So for example, we are integrating to x cos x dx from zero to um, pi over two, okay? So as usual, you let u be equals to two x, then we let dv, okay, be equals to what? Cos x dx, okay? You get it. So this is your u and then this is your v. Okay, oh, sorry, dv, okay, good. So u is two x, dv here, okay, I prefer this one coming here. So dv here is what? Cos x dx. Then the rule says differentiate your u. So u, you always differentiate, you don't integrate. So the u dx will be equal to what? Will be equal to two, okay? So then you, inter, I mean, rearrange and make you the u the subject. So the u will be what? Two, two dx, okay? Whereas here for dv, you have to integrate. So you integrate to get what? V, okay? So when we integrate, we'll get, we integrate cos, we'll get sine. You get sine of x, okay? then substitute into the formula. So the formula integral of 2x cos x, okay, cos x dx 
will be equal to what? Your u, u is what? 2x, v is what? Sine x, okay? Then minus, okay? The formula says uv minus what? Integral of what? v d u. So minus what? These are v. So integral of sine sine x, okay, what is your du? du is what? 2 dx, okay? So it's as simple as that. So this becomes 2x sine x. Now, I'll come and explain the, the next step. So this will be 2 sine, so 2 integral sine of what? sine of x dx, okay? But let's take notes. This time we were given a definite integral. We are differentiating from, sorry, integrating from zero to pi over two, okay? So we need to substitute the limit of what? Integration, just like we did earlier. So we are going to substitute the limit of integration, which will be from zero to pi over two here, okay? And the same thing with the second integral is from zero to pi, pi over two. Good. So if we do that, right? Let me just clean the board and uh, use the solution on the slides. So this is what we've done so far. Mm -hmm. So we integrate with the limit from zero to pi over two, meaning you substitute wherever you see uh, x, you substitute pi over two first, minus what? Uh, wherever you see x, you substitute zero, okay? So let me expand that part for you. This is how it will look like. So two into bracket what? Pi over two, okay? Good. Sine, sine pi over two. Don't forget pi over two is 90 degrees, right? Mm -hmm. So sine 90 is what? One. Okay, minus, then you substitute the lower limit to, to the function. So two times zero, okay, sine zero. Mm -hmm. So this is how this side is going to be expanded. Okay, that is what I've just expanded, okay, for you. So let me put that side into brackets, okay? Then this other side is what? Integral, when we integrate sine x, you get minus cos x. And so that is why we are getting minus two cos x. So this side will also be plus, okay? Two cos x. Then don't forget you have to what? You have to, just a minute, because the negative is in bracket. Mm -hmm. We'll have to do the evaluation before we bring we you bring out the good. So let's let's do that. So that will be minus two cos. Okay, minus two cos what? Pi over two. Okay, minus another minus two, so it will be plus, okay? Two cos zero, two cos zero, okay? For the right hand. So now we know that this two will cancel this two. So that will give us pi. Then this side will be sine pi over two. So sine of pi over two but two times zero is zero, and then times sine zero, will, any, anything times zero will be zero, okay? So that will be this, okay, minus zero, as you are seeing up there. So this minus zero, okay? All minus what? All minus, now cos pi over two is 90, cos 90 we know is zero, okay? So this whole thing will go to what? Zero. But cause zero is what? One. Eh? Cause zero is one. 
So which means that this side will be left with two times one, which will be two, okay? And outside the bracket, we have a negative there. So it will be minus what? Two. Mm -hmm. So look at it carefully. Good. So once we've evaluated the limits of integration, let me clear the screen. Okay, we are going to get the final answer to be equal to what? To be equal to pi minus what? Minus two, because this whole side will be what? This whole side will be, like I told you, okay? This one will be zero, so it goes to zero. Uh, this is one, so two times one is two. Uh, and there's a negative outside, so you get minus two sine pi over two sine 90 is also one so pi times one will give you one uh, pi minus zero is still pi that is why the final answer is what pi over two okay now enough of um, integration by parts let's do the final thing before we leave class so the next thing we are looking at is integrations by substitution, okay? Now, what do we mean by integration by substitution? Integration by substitution also looks like, let me say it's similar to the chain rule eh? from differentiation. So here you see one function eh? um, in another function. So for example, you have something like that, raised to the power of three. Eh? The idea from, chain rule is you make this one equals to u, right? So it's the same idea we are going to use here. We'll let this be equal to u, okay? Which means that if we make this one equal to u, then it means that the integral now becomes what? Integral of u raised to the power three dx, okay? Once we have made this equal to u, it becomes u raised to the power three dx. You understand? Good. So then what next? Eh? So once you have done that, the next thing is you differentiate you with respect to X. When we do that, we'll get what? We'll get five, okay? And then make X, the, the X a subject. We have to go and change this DX. So we'll make the X a subject. So let's say we have, sorry, we'll make, Yes, we'll make the as a sub. So we have du, okay, is going to be equal to five dx. Mm -hmm. And then what? We want dx as a subject. So divide both sides by five, divide here by five. And then we get dx equals to what? Is equals to du. u over what? Over five, okay? So we can re-express the whole thing in terms of u now, because we also have the s in terms of u. So this becomes u raised to the power three, the u over what? Over five, okay? Good. And then we can integrate this once, the function is in terms of u and the, Integral, what we are using to integrate is also in terms of u. We can now integrate. So this becomes what we can bring the denominator out. So this integral of u raised to the power three du. Okay. And of course, to integrate any function, you just add one to the exponent. So that will be e raised to the power four over what? Four, okay, plus the constant of integration, right? So this will give us what? One over 20 u raised to the power four, okay, plus what? Plus c. But we know that u is what? Five x plus two. So we can rearrange this and um, just make it one over what? 20 into bracket what? 5x plus 
all raise the power what all raise the power four okay plus a constant of integration so these are the steps um, if we have to integrate using the method of what substitution I, I hope it's clear to everyone this second example um let's give it a guess what do we do i want one of you to try for me so if you want to try raise raise up your hand and then help me out okay anybody wants to give this a try you can raise your hand up Unmute yourself. Um, sir, please. Um, X is multiplying the, the, the those in the, the, the two x square minus five x. Mm -hmm. So it will be X multiplying two x square to be two x keep minus five. No, 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 no. Follow. Just follow the same instruction I told you to. Okay. <laughs> yes. So let's go, Ima. Okay, so then it will be. Let's make the x the u. So we make two x squared, squared minus, minus five. five be equal to what u. U. Good. So once we do that, then it means that this will now look like this x u raised to the power of five. Five the x okay good then the second step is to go and differentiate what go and differentiate u with respect to x and then make the uh, the x the subject okay so let's differentiate we'll get what we'll get 4x 4x is equal to what? U, the UDX. The UDX. Beautiful. Then we make DX the subject, right? Yes. So we have DX is equal to what? The um, U over 4X. Four four X. 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 Good. So we are done with the computational step. Now we are just going to substitute. So let's substitute the X into where the X should be. So this is going to be the integral of X, U raised to the power of five. Then the X is now the U over what? Four X. Four X. So clearly you can see that this X will cancel the X here mm. without you having to do anything. Okay, good. So it becomes a very simple expression now. We have u raised to the power five du over four, which can easily be integrated. Okay, so to do this, this will be equal to what? One over four. One over four. So integral, or let's just integrate it. So one over four e raised to the power. Five. Six. Six. six over what? Six. Over six, six plus the constant of integration. Six. So this gives us what? U raised to the power six over 32. Okay, so uh, uh, that's 24, sorry. So over 24, okay, plus plus c right but we know u is what u is 2x squared minus 5 so just replace it here so it means that the final solution will be what 2x squared minus 5 over 24 okay of course the numerator is always the power 6 uh, plus our constant of integration, which is what C. Yeah.
So that is a step. Thank you very much um, for helping us to solve it. So, so you see, it's just a matter of following the steps. Let you be just like in the chain rule. Eh? You always let you be the is inner function, right? Then after that, go and differentiate your u, make the x a subject, and then come and substitute in the original function and integrate. These are the steps. So let's try another example. Um, okay. Um, let, let's take something um, more sim similar. So let's say integral of um, 3x, okay? Then we have um, 7x squared minus 2 raised to the power 4 dx, okay? So in this case, like we said, we'll let this be equal to u. So let u be equal to what? 7x squared minus 2. Next, differentiate. So the u dx will be what? Will be 14x, OK? Will be 14x. Then the final step is make dx the subject. So we have dx will be equal to what? du over 14x. OK, so once you've done that, let's come and do the substitutions into the main formula. So this becomes integral of 3x we said everything inside the brackets is u, right? So u raised to the power of four. And then what is our dx? Dx is what? From here, dx is what? The u over what? 14, 14 x. I hope you get it. Uh -huh. Then clearly, this x will cancel out this x, okay? which means we will be left with only terms of u. So we have integral of three u raised to the power four du, okay, over 14 here. We can bring out a constant term, which is three over 14 out, and then integrate, integrate u raised to the power four du, okay? Now, when we integrate u raised to the power four, we'll get what? We'll get u raised to the power five over five, right? So that will be u raised to the power five over, over five plus the constant of integration, okay? Then you can take it off from here. It's just a matter of, okay? Uh, just a matter of replacing your u. So u is what? Uh, 7x squared minus what? Minus 2 or raised to the power 5 plus c. And that is the final answer. Okay. Yeah, so let me have some questions if there are any, and let's end today's class. Okay, so negative 6y plus 2, okay, equals to negative 4x. Then next, you divide both sides by this whole thing here, which is negative 6y plus 2. Divide this other side too by what? S minus 6y plus 2, okay? Good. And then you get your dy ds is equal to what? Negative 4x over 
minus 6y plus 2. Okay, I see some hands up. Yes, Ima, don't call. Um, sir, please, the first example, no, you didn't differentiate the constant 2, but the second example, you differentiate it to make it 0. I don't understand that part. It's an omission. It's an error. So you should, you should, you should be telling me that it's an error because okay. you know what is supposed to be. This is 0. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's an error. The fact that it's... So Pobi who did it does not mean that it is correct. Eh? Okay. Okay. It's just an oversight. So the, the def derivative of a constant is always zero. Okay. Good. Yes. Um, yes. Any other, any other question? Yes, Benjamin. Sir, please, what if you have a question like 2xy squared plus 3x cubed equals 2? Yeah, but that's just what we solved. That was the first question we solved. Yeah, implicit differentiation. That is the first question we have just solved. 2y raised to the power 2xy no, X, X, squared. 2xy squared. OK, OK, OK. Yes. Plus 3x cubed equals 2. Just a minute, let me clean the board. So okay, we have sir. two X Y squared. Uh -huh, plus, plus three X cubed. Three X cubed. Uh -huh, equals two. Is equals two. Two, two. good, yeah. okay. So when we are differentiated, uh, this one is yes, product sir. rule. Okay. You understand? This one will be product rule. So you have to apply the rules of product rule so first, we are going to, you let this be u, and then this be what, v, when you are differentiating, okay? So this, by product to u, then we have dv in the x, okay? But this time is, is y, so when you are differentiating y, it's going to be what, 2y dy dx. Okay. Mm -hmm. Plus, v in the u dx, so you bring y squared, okay, then you differentiate u, the u dx will be what? Two times two. So we are done with this side, okay? Plus, okay. we come to this side, you differentiate that will be nine x squared is equal to what? Zero. Zero. Mm -hmm. Then you make your divide the subject, this will go, this will also go, okay. This here we have four x y dy dx equal to negative nine x squared minus two y squared. Okay, then you divide both sides by what? Four x y divide this side two by four x y so finally we have dy this cancels out this okay so dy dx will be equal to what negative nine x squared minus two y squared over what over four x why for the final answer okay thank you sir you're welcome okay so i think basically um this is it this is um implicit differentiation okay yeah this is implicit differentiation so for those in group one i think that has also been looked at and uh, we are okay but like i was saying for the tutorial session you have